change the starter motor on a 2006 Honda Pilot. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, this vehicle won't start, one little old mechanic trick. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to give it a little, little tap just to see if it'll start. And if it'll start, we can move it in the garage and we're gonna go see if we can start it. Okay, so the love tap did not work, so we were gonna do it in the driveway. So not a huge deal. What I did is all I did is I took off uh, the plastic piece on top of there. Now it should be noted for Honda Pilots, I've done some research and there's really not a lot of videos on them. Now there's three types of starters that come in these Honda Pilots. Um, and the starters vary depending on the year. There's 2002 to 2005. So that's one type and the bolts go this way. That's 2002 to 2005. And then from 2006 to 2008, the bolts go in this way. So there's our starter and the bolts are gonna go in this way. So this vehicle here is a 2006, but 2006 to 2008, the bolts go in that, uh, in, uh, in this way. Now, 2009 to 2015, the bolts go in the same way, but the starter is different. There was a starter change up, but the procedure is pretty much the same. So just so if you have a Honda Pilot, you should know those years, uh, just so you know what type of um, starter you have. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we've got to take off the battery terminals. So let's just take off uh, one of the terminals. Uh, this one here is just an 8 mil nut. Now what we should do just to protect ourselves, because we don't want that to accidentally touch when we're working, is we can just put a rag like so. And now we're okay. So we're good there. So let's move on to the starter now. So now we're going to do those two bolts. And like I said, uh, those two bolts are 14 mil. What we're doing is I'm just getting under here to try to get to this one 14 mil starter bolt. And we don't want to pull too hard because there's a plastic clip uh, right there. You can see that's what I'm against, this plastic clip. And we don't want to break that. So I might even uh, poke that off, but we are on it right now. Uh, and I prefer to do it with, with uh, hand tools. So that's, that's what we look like right now. So we'll see if I can undo it like this uh, without pushing too hard on Definitely on the starter bolt. Whew. That is one tight bolt. Let's undo these wires on the side here. Okay, and you can see my socket is still on there. It's, it's really difficult to put on, so I don't want to take it off. Uh, there you go, there's my socket still on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this bracket here, just so uh, I don't push against those wires, as you saw. So it's a 14 millimeter bolt right there. So we're going to undo this. There we go. There we go. And now these whole wires can be all moved out of the way out of our starter. So we have much more room. Okay, so what I've done, I've taken this whole wire piece here just like this off to the side so now we have lots of room to get in there for our starter bolt. I have a swivel socket and it wants to swivel so I have to get I have to take this socket out and get a straight socket so what we have here is just our 14 mil and we are going to go down deep in the starter Let's try to get this top bolt now. Let's see if we can find it. I think I'm on there. Before we do that, we're gonna to try to get the bottom bolt off. You can see I'm on the bottom bolt. The bottom bolt actually isn't that hard to, uh, isn't that hard to get to. So we're gonna to try to crack this. Loose. There we go. Okay, so we got the bottom bolt loose. Now let's get a better view. You can see here I'm just turning it. I'm gonna take this bottom bolt of the starter right out. There we go. And there's our bottom bolt is out. And actually, if you look down here, that bracket right here, that was connected to the bottom bolt. Okay, so we got the bottom bolt. There's our top bolt. You can see top bolt quite rusted for the starter. 
and our bottom bolt is out uh, right there and there's our bracket that hangs on it just like that okay so I got out the breaker bar so a nice long bar let's see if we can get it out and there we go it's moving there it's loose so just to give you an idea of the size of the breaker bar yeah it's a long breaker bar so that uh, that top bolt was was really really tight now it's loose so now I'm just gonna take out this top bolt there we go now there is I think a shim between this and the block and that's gonna be the hard part so I'll show you a little trick to get that together uh, later once we get the starter out and there we go there's the upper starter bolt so the starter should be loose now and uh, what I'm gonna do is I always pop these off just take it off the, um, the hoses just so we can pull the hoses around a little bit easier if we have to so we're just gonna take those clips off now we can move our hoses around a little bit and now our starter there we go we can see our starter is actually loose we still have to disconnect the electrical connections to the starter and I can see the electrical connections right here so I'm just gonna take them off right here and then it'll be easier to wiggle the starter out there's a connection for the starter there's a starter I'm moving it and there is the bolt just a 10 mil bolt right there I can move the hose over you can see there's the back of the starter so we're gonna get in here there we go should be able to there we go right on the starter I should be able to take this off just by hand right now. Come on, there we go. That's one off and you can see it's still kind of, there's a little, I don't know, clip or whatever you want to call it right here. This plastic thing right down there, I gotta try to reach to. And there's one more wire right here. Uh, we'll take this one off. There's this wire and you can see we've just pulled it off just like that. So that's an easy one to get off. So now we have both wires off our starter, but we have this plastic piece here. I don't know what it is. Okay, upon closer examination, you can see this is some type of plastic clip. Just gonna zoom in and that's it right there, that blue blue thing and all it is is you can almost see the tabs on it there and you and we can see the wire going through it so we just got to disconnect that from the starter okay and you can see fighting with the clip I was able to actually uh, just maneuver the starter around so I could get it's an 8 mil it's on the back there's that clip but it is so I guess rusted underneath I can't get uh, I can't get the main power wire off now it is disconnected from the starter uh, you can see at the top there, it's it's totally disconnected, but I have to get it off the back of the starter. So 8 mil uh, bolt will take it off the bracket here. And there we have it. So we've undone uh, the one wire just pulled out. The other one was a 10 mil. And then on the back of the starter is an 8 mil nut, uh, just a little nut. And what that was, was to get this wire there's a better view and here was the problem that was with the starter here that's slipped over and then the eight mil that th this what was preventing me from taking it out i just could not get this plastic clip off and you can see why it is super rusty so now that i have more room and i can get my whole hand in here i might try to take it apart and clean it and then this way it'll make it easy to um, pop the starter uh, when when the starter goes back in it'll be easy to put this wire back on because i can just slide it on so I may try to do that now, see if I can get that apart. Make sure when you take the starter out, uh, there's the shim on the starter right here. Able to get the clip off, so that's uh, great. So now if we look in here, down there, there's our wire and there's our clip. So now once we uh, fish the starter back in, we can just pop it back on and we don't have to worry about taking the bracket off with it in the car because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot harder uh, to do it.
and this goes where the bolt was on so it just goes back on like so if I can get it on there we go so it just goes like this and then our nut goes back on so we'll make sure that our new starter has that on it okay so we finally got our new starter so let's open up our new starter or rebuilt starter I should say now if you'll notice these starters here have a gasket that always falls off and they're really hard so I'm going to show you how to uh, to do that okay so we have our gasket and this is what uh, came off the old one uh, the new one doesn't come with a gasket that's the trick so for this what you want to do is you're gonna put this this goes just like this but the thing is you're never gonna be able to hold it on it's it's, it's just gonna fall off there's there's no way to do it so what you're gonna have to do and it's kind of um, it's foolproof so you can't put it on backwards you can't put it on any other way it just doesn't work so it only goes on uh, the one way there just goes on this way. This is the only way it goes on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of silicone. We're gonna put a little bit of silicone on the starter itself, and that's gonna hold this gasket on. So all we gotta do is just put a little bit here, and this will help just hold, hold it in place. We don't need a lot, just a little bit, like so. Smile for the camera. And now we are just going to put it on, just like so. And there we go, this can go just like this. Because without doing this, it's gonna be almost a near impossible job uh, to get it on. And now what we'll do is we'll just wipe off any excess silicone. This way, so it's probably gonna have to go back in this way. So we're gonna, it's a tight fit. Then, is you just have to pull up the dipstick. So now that it's in, I can pull, I can push uh, the dipstick back in. I find that with the dipstick, it's just, uh, it's easier just to pull it up. Just a little bit. So I was able to get one bolt in, just barely started. You can see that's the bolt there. I'll have to continue. And then I got my another bolt right on the bottom, right there. But I have to make sure that the bracket goes uh, on that bolt. The bolt has to go through it. Actually, what I'm gonna do first, I think, is I'm just gonna tighten up this top bolt a little bit because I don't want the starter to move. I don't wanna torque it right down but I wanna definitely snug it, snug it in. And there it's in tighter now. And I'm right now, I know it's very difficult to see. They're both uh, tight now, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ratchet on it and snug them both up. That one's snugged up a little bit. Now let's go snug up the bottom one here. Okay, so now we're gonna put the wiring harness back onto the side of the engine, uh, right here. And there was just the one, the one bolt that went into there. And that's this one, just a 14 mil bolt, just like so. And you can see there's the bolt right there. So everything is held on by that 14 mil bolt. Now that we have our starter installed, we have our wires all back installed. This thing here just goes into this clip, just like so. I can get it in with one hand, almost. There we go, just like so. 
Okay, so that's all buttoned up. So now all we have to do on this side is connect the actual wires to the starter. That's it. Okay, so the new starter came with a bigger nut here. So we need an 11 socket. And there we go, it's 11. Okay, so let's put this on a ratchet. Just gonna put our cover back on. There we go. Okay, so back in the vehicle and there we go. So starter is replaced in this 2006 Honda Pilot. Okay, folks, so the tools that are used. Well, hopefully you don't have to use a breaker bar to get that one bolt out. That's a, it's a big breaker bar. Anyway, it's just really tight. So basically all I had to do was use 14 mil socket. I did have an extension, my 3 8 ratchet. And then for the quarter drive, I had um, an eight millimeter for uh, the battery. And then I had a 10 and an 11 to put the positive cable back on the starter. Now it depends when you buy yours, it might come with the same size, I don't know. So it just kind of depends. And then I had the little eight there and then that was just to get off the bracket. Anyway, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed my video. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Any questions, comments, and concerns, leave them below. I answer everything. Thank you, Garage King over and out. See you on the next one.